OK, so in this problem, a box contains three red balls and eight yellow balls. Two balls are removed from the box without replacement. Let x be the number of yellow balls removed. Tabulate the probability distribution of x. OK, so in this problem, it would be useful if we used a probability tree in order to work out uh, the probabilities of extracting each uh, uh, set of balls from this, OK, from the box. So what we're going to want to do is, first of all, make that first choice. And the uh, colour of the ball can either be red or yellow. So the probability of picking up a red ball uh, initially is 3 out of 11. And for yellow, it's 8 out of 11. So then for the second choice, because we're not replacing uh, the ball back in the box, uh, if we've picked out a red initially, then we can have 2 out of 10 remaining. And for yellow, we will still have 8, but it's now out of 10. If a yellow is picked, uh, we will have t uh, 3 reds still, but now out of 10. But we will now have 7 out of 10 uh, yellows remaining. OK, well, 7 yellows remaining out of the 10 balls. So what we can now do is we can think about building up this, uh, um, this table for the probability distribution. So we have uh, x being the uh, number of yellow balls that can be picked out. Uh, really, that should be a... We'll do that with a little x, OK, just to be consistent. And the probability of each of those uh, possibilities. So we can either pull out zero yellow balls, or we can pick out one, or we can pick out two. OK, so the probability of picking out zero yellow balls is picking out two red balls. And so that would be 3 over 11 times 2 out of 10. And so that would be 6 over 110. To pick out one yellow ball, I either picked out a red first, then a yellow, or a yellow first, then a red. So we would have 3 out of 11. So 3 out of 11 times by 8 out of 10. OK. So um, I'll keep that without simplified fraction, actually. So 8, 16, 24. So it'd be 24 out of 110. And yellow, then red, will be 8 times 3. So 24 out of 110. And so combining those two, we would have 48 out of 110. Now, if it was two yellows that were pulled out, then we'd have 8 over 11 times 7 over 10. So that would be 56 over 110. That one was 6 over 110. So that's 56 over 110. And these three probabilities, just a quick check, should add up to 1, which they do. OK? So that's how we can use a probability tree to piece together uh, what the distribution must look like.